It's Friday morning, Glads. I'm Karen McAfee. And I'm Kieran Doolittle, and this is your KWHS News. Thanks for tuning in today. Let's head into the cafeteria to find out what Miss Bessie has on the lunch menu today. Happy Friday, everybody. Today we're going to have shepherd's pie and a beef ball sub. They were served earlier in the month, so come on down and get one. You know they're good. And then on Monday we're just having a chicken sandwich. Come on and see us. Thanks. Bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, clear out your lunch charges by adding money to your account, and it's not too late to turn in your purple free or reduced lunch forms. Bring it to Miss Betsy so she can process it. Glads, your books are only $55 in the business office for a few more weeks. Prices will go up in December. And seniors, listen up. Today is the final deadline for baby ads and quotes for the yearbook. See a yearbook staff member or stop by room 104 by the end of today to turn those in. With October already halfway over, deadlines are coming quickly. And we also have several colleges visiting us. Here's the lineup. October college visits will close out on Tuesday, October 31st with a visit from CU Denver. November visits start on Thursday, November 2nd with Luther College. And check this out. The Tony and Guy Hairdressing Academy will be here on November 8th during lunch in the lower commons. And they're setting up a braid bar, so stop to get info on the school and get your hair done too. November visits wrap up with Adam State on Thursday, November 16th. One last Counseling Center announcement for seniors. If you are taking the National ACT test this year, stop by the Counseling Center for your free prep booklet from Miss Abeta. And as always, swing by the Counseling Center to pick up your hall passes for college visits. When we come back, we have some scary news for you. Now, here's Jeremiah Jones with our Gladiator Sports Update. Happy Friday morning, Glads. I'm Jeremiah Jones with your Gladiator Sports Update. Last year, we started a segment called Health Tips from Doc. Our athletic trainer and lots of you really liked it. Well, she's back. Here's Doc with this week's health tip on stress. Hey guys, it's Doc with your health tip of the week. The first quarter is almost over. That brings on a lot of stress. There are three ways to deal with stress in a happy, healthy manner. First way, you want to make sure you're managing your time effectively. Use those study hours, use study hall, come in after school, make sure you're working extra hard for those grades. Secondly, you have to get enough sleep. So staying up late to study, yes you're studying but you're not getting enough sleep. So make sure you're getting eight hours a day. Third, make sure you're asking for help. All of us teachers are here to help and we really want you to succeed. Stay happy, stay healthy, and reduce your stress. Thanks, Doc. Glad. Tune in next week when Doc offers us tips to avoid the flu. Our Gladiator football team traveled to Pueblo last night to play Pueblo Centennial at Dutch Clark Stadium, and the Glads trained those dogs for the win. The boys are at home next week against Pine Creek on Friday, October 27th at 7 p.m. In soccer news, the boys were also on the road in Canyon City last night and tamed the Tigers for another win. Our Lady Glides volleyball team pounded the Woodland Park Panthers last night for an impressive win. The ladies are back on the court next week against Harrison on Tuesday at Harrison. In swim news, ladies, if you missed the informational meeting for Swim and Dive, please see Mrs. Wickberg in room 110. Get ready to start the year with a splash. Ladies, your last basketball open gym will be next Monday and Wednesday before basketball camp. Camp runs from October 30th to November 2nd. See Mr. Washington in room 115 for more information. And finally, winter sports athletes, listen up. Yellow cards and physical forms will be available starting on Monday, October 23rd in the main office. If you already have a physical on file, stop by to pick up your yellow card. Winter sports practices start on November 10th. Good luck to all our sports teams this weekend. That's it for our sports update. Have a great Friday. I'm Jeremiah Jones. Now back to you, Corinne and Kieran. Thanks, Jeremiah. Okay, Glads, the first annual mattress sale happens tomorrow. If you or someone in your family needs a new mattress, come and check them out in the small gym on Saturday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Save $50 from any set with a coupon from the theater students or Ms. Caps. 
All proceeds from this sale benefit the Widefield High School Theater Program. Gladiator Pop Sockets are a thing, and NHS wants to help you get one. They're only $10, and it's a great way to show your spirit. Spruce up your phone and help NHS raise some money. See Miss HK in the library to get yours today. If you want to show your spirit in a different way, check out the school store. DECA and FBLA will be selling Gladiator gear before school on Mondays and Fridays and after school on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. They have long sleeve shirts, short sleeve t-shirts, hoodies, beanies, and baseball hats at very reasonable prices. And now, here are your club and activities updates for Friday. Current NHS members, you have a mandatory meeting at lunch today in the library. Remember, the Power Club meets on occasional Fridays at lunch, but check in with Miss Sardinia in room 130. And the Guitar Club meets in room 2 after school with Mr. White. If you want to store your guitar until the end of the day, see Mr. White. And as always, Student Union is open in the library every afternoon from 3 to 4.15. You do need to have your sticker on your ID, like this one, to stay and play or to work on homework. As promised, here is the scary news before we go. The Media Center is having a scary book contest for weekly prizes. How do you play? It's simple. Check out a book this month. Each book earns you an entry for prizes. Don't be scared. Check out a book today. Teachers, want a chance to win a cool tie-dye shirt? The Environmental Club is giving away a t-shirt to the teacher with the grooviest recycle box. To enter the contest, first, decorate your recycle box, next, snap a picture of it, and finally, send your photo to Mr. Cummings v. email. The deadline is this Friday. Get your snaps in and win. And finally, <laughs> Halloween is about a week away, and we got word that we will be able to wear costumes. We do have a few guidelines for you. Admin has asked us to not wear full facial makeup or masks, and costumes should still fit dress code rules. The rules are simple, so get your costume ready to go. Well, that's all for us today. Have a great Friday. I'm Kieran McAfee. And I'm Kieran Doolittle, and this was your KWHS News. Have a great weekend.